Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. What this video is covering is paragraph formatting. Now what I will do, I will highlight this paragraph of text, OK, and then I go to the Home tab and go to the Paragraph group. Now this is all your paragraph formatting. It's things like alignment. Now these are your alignments across here. OK, so it's by default it was on the left so the left margin is nice and straight then you go center so now all the lines are center justified you've got right so now it's alignment on the right and then you've got fuller justified so that keeps both margins parallel straight and it adjusts the space between each word um, a lot of column text and things like that that's when they do the justified that's how you change it now these keyboard commands, you know, you can do Control L for left, Control R for right, Control E for equals between margins, and Control J for justified. The, you know, it it depends how you like to use it, but a lot of people just like to use the little buttons up here. The line spacing, the line spacing here, you can click and you can say it's on 1.0 at the moment but I might want it at 1.15. That's the new 2007 and 2010 default setup in Word. 1.5, 2, 2.5 and 3. You can say um, line options and, and you can get the line spacing options here look so you can say I want it exactly three spaces or whatever you are but that is how you can be more precise with it but your line spacing here usually say double or triple yeah um, and that just sets your line space in there you've also got I'll just put that back to single you've also got um, the indentations now what I would say about the indentations is it's these little markers up here on your ruler bar what you've got to understand is when you look at these little markers you've got three elements you've got this top triangle the top triangle is your first line indent that will only affect this first line of this paragraph so I move this across to let's say two centimeters notice only the first line moves over so that is a first line indent if I move the second little marker, the, the bottom triangle, oh, I have to just catch it right, guys, there, notice that affects anything beneath the first line. So it's, a, it's affecting these lines here, down here. Then what you've got is the little square box at the bottom now that moves both these two markers at the same time so you click on that and then that moves it notice it's all coming over now what you've got in Word the most common things in Word 2012 you've got a full indent where everything is just indented in from the normal margin let's say two centimeters that is a full indent then you've got what you call a first line indent where only the first line is indented so usually on a first line indent the body gets moved over one centimeter and then the first line will go the second centimeter so that becomes the first line indent and then you've also got what we call a hanging indent that's where the first line overhangs the second and usually what happens is on that is it sits like that so that's a hanging indent that's the three types of indents that you've got in Microsoft 2010 and you can set them up just by playing with these indent markers here what I would suggest for you to do is pause this video go and have a little play in the word itself and see what you can so remember your first triangle top one is your first line indent 
your bottom one now you, you, to get this bottom one's a bit tricky you have to learn how to do it but I just grab it at the very top point and that just lets me move just the bottom marker and then you get the little box which moves both markers at the same time yeah so it's just getting used to them okay and that is as simple as it is now the markers and, and setting them up with the markers is easy as one two three but you have to practice it if you don't want to set them up there you can go to the dialog box which is this button and then you can come in here look and you say right I want to set a full indent from the left margin and I want it uh, two and a half centimeters okay notice now it's coming both markers are up and then you could say well actually I wanted a first you know, hanging indent yeah uh, 1.27 2.5 let's whip that down yeah and we'll set that at um, one centimeter like that okay and say like that and then there's your first centimeter with your hanging indent yeah real good stuff but it's knowing you could say that first line indent okay and it'll put your first line indent on yeah but you once you get used to it this is the better way of doing it this playing with these is is fantastic makes it so easy but what I would say to you guys if you haven't watched my video tutorial 6 formatting codes I would suggest go and watch that video because I explain in that video the difference between a line and a paragraph and you do need to understand what we're referring to when we're talking about the paragraphs so just trot along and have a little look at that formatting codes tutorial 6 in my other videos it, I would recommend it but that's your indents and your indent markers but you can set them up throughout the year as well there's another little thing that I need to talk about we talked about the line spacing which is here the line spacing that we've already mentioned yeah but you've also got spacing before and after each paragraph now what it means basically is you can put um, points on so you could say I want 10 points you know 12 points after each paragraph and what it does it, crease, it increases the space between this here that, between that line and that so it puts a space between the paragraph and what you would call the heading but that is well worth knowing about um, you might be able to see it as I change it here watch the distance between this gap here so if I whip that down notice no when I say okay notice it's gone down okay so let's do it with the highlight on there you go and then you just say zero and it'll just zip that up a little bit there you go look. so it's literally put the spacing in won't there because that is a paragraph yeah but if I get rid of that paragraph yeah notice now they're together okay now if I highlight that change that and say I want 12 points okay to that notice now there's no paragraph there but it's, it's spacing after because it's after the paragraph well worth knowing about by default it's on on 2012 uh, and some people don't want it on um, and there you go yeah that is your paragraph formatting for now now there is more to the paragraph formatting we've got to talk about the shading borders and shading and that's paragraph formatting uh, bullets and numbers paragraph formatting and the tabs as well so I'm going to do another three videos I'm going to do one for the tabs understanding the tabs and setting the tabs I want to do one for bullets and numbering and I want to do one for borders and shading so look out for them videos as well but thank you very much for your time I hope you found this informative uh, don't forget to check me other videos out and if you subscribe to our channel don't forget we do do requests so if you want to know how to do anything in particular like insert tables or mail merge you know just go along subscribe with us drop us an email and we'll do you a video just as soon as we can thank you very much for your time bye